Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Wholesale changes for the Springbok 23 this weekend with Rusty Rasmus rolling the dice really with um, a lot of uh, different combinations, different players for example, nine players. Um, who uh, are rotated this weekend, a, a different captain, a different center combination. In fact, there's not a single combination that has actually remained the same with regards to front row, second row, back row, a halfback pairing, back three centers, the bomb squad. There is no bomb squad. There's a 5-3 split. So much going on in this um, uh, lineup. And uh, a first ever test start for Moray Vandenberg and Ruin Nokia, who will start this weekend. And Andrew Vessels gets another start as well. Um, Jan Koblok getting opportunity. Lekanya I'm at 12. Uh, Apple Fassi back to 15. It's a very interesting side. Um, if, before we get into it, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is how we do line up. And uh, very, very interesting lineup. Let's go through it, shall we? Uh, in the front row, it is a completely new front row. Jan Hendrik Vessels gets another start, his first start against a Tier 1 nation, next to Johan Krobola and Thomas de Toy. That is a future front row, really, um, in terms of Jan Hendrik Vessels being um, a youngster, uh, Thomas de Toy uh, being one of the younger, the, the youngest of the three sort of main uh, tight heads, and then uh, Jan Krobola very much been backed as the second choice hooker, but hasn't had as many opportunities as he would have liked, uh, just the one so far. A new second row as well. Salman Murat is back and is captaining the side this weekend. He will partner Ruan Nokia. He gets his first start. Evan Etzebeth dropping out of the 23. Arcus Neyman also obviously not fit just yet. And uh, a new back row with Marco Van Staden starting in the number six jersey. You've got um, um, Pierce Depp's toy shifting back from lock two. Um, flank as well as Albert Lowe gets another start in the number eight jersey. Uh, Morning Funnenberg will partner Sash Feinberg and Gomez Zulu. Really, really exciting combination. Um, those two. I think Morning Funnenberg is a big opportunity for him. I think that he's going to be involved a lot moving forward. I think they really do rate him. I think he's the natural pace for Fafta Clark. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how he goes this weekend. And Sash Feinberg and Gomez Zulu. Uh, it's a bit of a Springbok shooter. Three fly offs. Um, named in the side. So uh, the race to be the Springbok Flower Half is heating up. Uh, Makazuma Pimpi comes in as expected. Chesley Colby on the other wing, but our player Fassi comes in for Billy LaRue. That's a bit of a surprise one. Um, but maybe not less of a surprise, or, or no more than a surprise, than Lakanya Am at 12, JC Creel at 13. Could this be the start of a new combination? We haven't really seen, I don't think we've ever seen Lakanya Am at 12 for the box. So that's something very, very different. Uh, so a bit of experimentation over there. But... The good news for the box is that there are options off the bench if things go badly. You've got Malcolm Marks, Oxenchair, and Vincent Koch. Massive power coming from that front row. Even it's a bit, there's under 23 caps, and Quaker Smith uh, covering the rest of the scrum. Obviously, there's a lot of different options. Peter Step Toy can stop back to the second row. Um, to join Evan Smith, for example, you can, you can take off both, both locks. Quaker Smith plays across that back row. Um, and then you've got Grant Williams, Miley Bok, as well as Andre Pollard. This for me is a very early indication that Pollard is being seen as a much as a genuine 12 option. I think that we will see him come on at 12, and I think we'll see Miley Bok at uh, at 10. We might even see that Fami Gomez to go to 15, for example, and have all three of them on the park at the same time. So a very, very interesting bench. Uh, if we look at some of the facts, for example, um, if Elizabeth takes to the field, he will equal Brian Habana's record, a second place record in the most cap spring mock ever. Um, and it'll be three caps short of equaling Victor Matfield's test record of 127. Um, Quaker Smith can move closer to that 50 uh, cap um, test caps, whilst uh, Morning Vandenberg, Ruin Okia, Jan Andrew Best, and Johan Kobola will only earn their second test cap this weekend. The total test caps for Springbok's starting lineup is 332. Uh, 196 in the back line, 136 in the forwards, 419 on the bench. The average cast per player in the back line is 28. The forwards just 17. Players on the bench are averaging 52. So very much experimental side, but then you've got the experience to come in um, off the bench later if things go badly. So um, very, uh, not, maybe not as sort of experimental or maybe not as, as risky, for example, in terms of having a completely new side with 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 no sort of players that can do a job off the bench. Um, they're bringing on World, World Cup winners. All players on the bench won the World Cup, or part of the World Cup winning squad, for example. And if you take away, for example, Molly Buck, Grant Williams, all have 
uh, close on 50 or 50 plus caps. I mean, you've got Ox Chair 32, Quagga's with 44, but apart from that, 100 pilots, 72 caps, Evan Etzbeth 123, Vincent Koch 53, Marks with 68. Uh, so, so much experience to come off the bench, but uh, very useful looking uh, starting 15. Project 2027, very much on the mind. Um, I think it's big, big opportunities for Mornay van den Berg. I think it's a huge opportunity for um, Jan, Jan Krobler, as well as Jan Hendrik Vessels, who seems to, I don't know, it's an interesting one that we've never started Gerard Stelikamp. He kind of drops out and then goes back onto the bench and then drops out. So, I kind of feel a bit sorry for him. Um, a big opportunity for Thomas de Toy. I think he could try and find and elevate himself into that 23. And a big chance, Alfredo Fassi, who's getting his opportunities um, to cement his spot in that number 15 jersey for the box. And uh, a big chance, Salman Rapp, to continue his captaincy record. Uh, he's uh, um, only playing his ninth game, has captained the box, won that game obviously against Portugal. So a big opportunity for him once again. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.